Are you looking to call in a new job this year? Maybe you're applying for jobs right now. Maybe you're trying to just get a better understanding of what it is you even want to call in. Maybe you're just hoping to get some more opportunities, more meet more people for your side hustle. Maybe you're looking to improve your salary. If you're looking for different ways to use feng shui to attract career success, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to share with you seven different tips, seven different ways to use feng shui to attract more career success. I'm Jeanette Zizikowski, your go-to feng shui consultant. Daily, I'm working with the motivated, the successful, and the inspired to use feng shui to manifest more. If this is your first ever feng shui video, maybe you're just dipping the toe, welcome. Or maybe you're on your 10th YouTube video of how to attract career and success energy using feng shui. <laughs> welcome also. This first tip I'm gonna share with you applies to if you're feng shuiing for anything. For your feng shui to work well, for it to be more powerful, I say feng shui is giving your space attention with intention. You have to have a strong, clear intention behind why you're moving, why you're feng shuiing, why you're doing what you're doing. Because think about it, so maybe this is like your third feng shui video for feng shui for career success and you've moved a crystal and you've moved a plant and you've hung up a picture of a beach in hopes that you'll manifest enough money to pay for a beach, beach vacation or maybe you're just trying to manifest a beach vacation and you're like, what's going on? I've hung the picture, I've moved the things, I did the feng shui, <laughs> nothing's happening, I haven't manifested this beach vacation yet. I haven't seen anything come from me moving my stuff. There's a big difference between simply moving a plant from let's say like the kitchen to the living room with just and just moving it versus moving it with intention. Like I'm moving this plant, it is the wood element. I'm moving it over into the living room with the intention of attracting career success. My intention is to attract more career and success so that, that I'm compensated for my value, I'm seen for my value so that I can then do more good in the world. I know I am worthy of this raise. I know I am worthy of XYZ job because I give it my all. I'm truly passionate about this and I'm excited to make a huge difference. I'm worthy of that promotion. I'm excited to be seen for the value I have. I can't wait to attract more career success as I move this wood element to the living room where my fire fame energy is so that I am seen more for the value I bring to this company. Can't you feel how much more powerful that is? Can't you feel that vibration of like, ooh, like she feels strongly about that. This is gonna happen for her. She seems so confident and so sure that that energy is gonna work out for her, that that energy is going to help her. And now everybody's on board. <laughs> so the first tip is getting clear on what it is you want, getting clear on your intention. Because also think about this, career success. What does that even mean? Do you wanna be seen and valued for what you bring to the table and you want a promotion? Do you want to just be valued more and get more accolades? Are you looking for actually like, I want $5,000 more, I want $20,000 more. Are you looking for a raise? So you're specifically looking for money. What does career success, what does success look like to you? Success to you might be, I go to work at eight, I'm home by five and I can have dinner with my family. So get very clear as you're moving these things and as we go into these other six tips and you start to rearrange and repurpose the items you already have, what's the intention behind what you're moving and why? And also I created a video called how to set an intention that actually manifests if you wanna check out that video after this one. So it helps you get a little bit more clarity and set your, set your intentions so they actually manifest. The second tip, I'm gonna start with an analogy. Imagine you have a cup of coffee or you have a water bottle. <laughs> but imagine this is a cup of coffee and you say, I'd like more coffee, please. And they're like, well, your cup is full, you have coffee. And you're like, yeah, but it's cold and it's stale and it's old and I just don't like this coffee anymore. So can I please have more coffee? And they say, well, no, because it will just overflow. There's no more, there's no room to accept or receive more coffee. So pretty easy analogy, what do you do? You pour out the coffee, you pour out the stale old what you don't want anymore and you make space to receive new coffee. The same thing applies to your house. What you're asking for right now to keep it simple since I don't know your super detailed clear intention but it's for more career success. Look around your home and do you have the space to receive that? Look around your emotional state, your energetic state. Do you have space to receive that? 
in your home is there a lot of pictures stuff piles that represent old projects old people old times past things delayed things or maybe currently so maybe yes and then look now look currently like typically we have a job before we get another job are is your desk stacked with current to do's current lists current projects you're obviously not going to get rid of those and like burn them and throw them away but how do you tidy that up to symbolically represent i have space on my desk to receive new projects i have space in my life to receive new things i have space in my calendar to receive more responsibilities that often come with career success and advancement check out your language do you often say things like i'm too busy for that right now i'll get to it tomorrow i'm too busy i'll do it tomorrow you know sometimes that just is what it is i'm not looking to like make people paranoid here but check your language and are you always putting things off or are you checking things off are you getting things done are you making it obvious that there's room to receive more and speaking of making space to receive number three do you have space in your space in specifically your lucky career and success direction if you aren't familiar with your four different lucky directions you have four you have your lucky career and success lucky health lucky relationships and lucky spirituality and sense of self if you're not familiar with what your four are i have a link in the description of this video that says discover your personal energy number based on your personal energy number it'll also tell you your four lucky directions so you can click that free guide below find out where your lucky career and success direction is so specifically look at that direction let's say it's in the north in the north are things, and let's say it's a bathroom, right? Worst case scenario, everyone's always like, oh, but my lucky career and success direction's in the bathroom. Okay, are the cabinets organized? Are the cabinets neat? Is it clean? Have you cleaned the shower recently? Have you cleaned the toilet? It blows my mind how many people have like mildewy sinks. Maybe my parents were just super strict, <laughs> but you were clean in the bathrooms is it is there like a nice plant a nice light and does the air smell fresh and clean in there do you air it out occasionally have you cleaned the shower curtain recently like if that is where your lucky career and success direction are and you need to make space to receive consolidate your bottles make space to receive and keep the toilet seat down tip number four i want to stay on this career and lucky success direction so next your subconscious mind it speaks in images. It doesn't speak in words. Think about how when you dream, you dream in images, right? You don't see the word fork, you dream of forks. <laughs> your subconscious mind speaks in images and your subconscious mind is responsible for 95% of what you manifest. It's responsible for 95% of what you see. All of your stories, all your limiting beliefs, all these things that we're not gonna talk about in this video right now, because this is about how to attract career success with feng shui, not how does my subconscious work, but your subconscious is responsible for 95% of what it is that you manifest and it speaks in images. So what we do is we look at our environment and we've made space to receive. We've gotten rid of the old, right? We've gotten rid of these old images that pop up and remind us of the past. That's why we do that because we look at old coworkers, old awards, and we're like, that's the past. If it's an award you appreciate, keep it around. But anyway, stick with me here. <laughs> Staying on the, we've made space in the whole house, but in the specifically the lucky career and success direction, what images now are representative or represented? Do you have anything that maybe it is those awards? That's a good place for those awards. Cause then when you see those awards, you think, I remember why these are in my lucky career and I remember why these are here. They're in my lucky career and success direction. They're moving me forward and that energy ball starts to build. The intention is remembered. The vibration is remembered. What you're calling in is remembered. And then you're getting in that momentum of the vibration of calling it in. So what images do you have in your lucky career and success direction? that are representative of what it is you're trying to call in what it is that where you're trying to go tip number five what do you have at your front door your front door is called the mouth of chi this is where predominantly most of the energy comes in your energy comes in from all windows all doors but we really focus on the front of the house the front 
of the door, the front door. <laughs> is there a nice bright light shining that says, hi energy, come to me. Is your address on your home very obvious? You know, I use the analogy sometimes if the Amazon guy can't find your front door, energy can't find your front door. And energy, no matter which direction it is, your front door collects all of that energy, collects all of that chi, and it's what brings you the opportunities and the money and the promotions and the friendly people and the helpful people. So we really want that front door, that mouth of chi to be clean, bright, obvious and tidied up. I have plenty of other videos like how to feng shui your front door and all other kinds of videos on specifically what else you can do to boost it, but that is a key area in tip number five on cleaning it, cleaning it up and keeping it nice to attract career and success with feng shui. Tip number six and seven are a little bit more advanced, but you can do it. They're also timely it energy is always shifting it's always moving it's not one size fits all all the time it's always changing so tip number six is find the yearly abundance energy there's always a star in flying star feng shui there's always a most auspicious most timely star that brings in money and abundance which can be wrapped up into career success money but it's just overall this opportunity and auspiciousness and abundance and in 2023, wow, I haven't said it like that before, 2023, <laughs> eight is the most auspicious, bringing in money, luck, and abundance and prosperity energy. And that is in the, I'm looking at a chart south. <laughs> and as we move into 2024 until 2044, nine is the most abundant, auspicious, lucky money, success energy. And in 2024, looking at my map and notes, I have to draw it out because I don't have it written down. Nine is in the Southwest. So for the rest of 2023, South is where it's at. That's where that eight is. Go there, drink your coffee, open your windows, use it. Send out the vibration of knowing that you're worthy, knowing that you add value to your company, that you're ready to be seen, that it's safe for you to receive more money. You send that energy and vibration out in the south area of your home in 2023 for the rest. And then in 2024, it's in the southwest where the nine is. So similarly, go to the southwest, have your coffee there, keep that area of your home clean, or if it's outside, keep it maintained, open windows there occasionally, and really use the nine energy. Using the yearly energy brings me to tip number seven, which is using the monthly energy. Maybe you don't have a lot of space, maybe you don't have a lot of stuff, but this is the surefire way to see your stuff manifest faster. It's by using the energy with that clear intention. So you place your strong internal energy in this Wi-Fi signal of these vibrant, helpful energies. And it's like you're using your actions and your intentions in the strongest Wi-Fi so that those intentions are sent out faster and further and stronger. If that doesn't make sense, go check out my monthly feng shui forecast where I not only talk about the eight and the nine I just talked about in tip six, but there's also an energy number six that we like to use for career advancement, especially if you're in corporate. There's a one energy that I always advise using if you're looking for advisors or money or inspiration or clarity. So monthly I share with you feng shui forecasts that help you repurpose and reposition certain things in your home. And it tells you where all the hotspot energy is every month. And they're sort of like coaching calls, but with feng shui. Every month we set goals, we set an intention on how do I get closer to my goal every month. They're free and they're super helpful if you're looking to use feng shui for career success. So there you go, seven tips to attract career success using feng shui. Let me know below what does career success look like to you? What does a successful life look like to you? Like this video if you're excited to go attract in and manifest in more success. Subscribe if you haven't already. And why not go check out that video, how to set an intention that actually manifests.